up everybody 360 juice here back with another video for you guys and today i got some important information for you guys man if you're a waiver definitely watch this whole video but guys right before we get into this video i want y'all to check out my description got a couple of products for you guys to try out and a couple of discount codes for you guys so don't forget to use the discount code got some brushes moisturizers butters pomades shampoos all of that you feel me definitely the new 360 merch brushes that just dropped don't forget to copy some use discount code 360 juice for 10 percent off and also the shampoo bars all right those junks fire man y'all go cop those use discount code juice with a three at the end to get 10 percent off and also don't forget the 26 king wavy merch you know we've been rocking with 26 king wavy for like a year now go check out the 26 king wavy website and if you want to become an ambassador for 26 king wavy you can also do that. All you have to do is go on his website, www.26kingwavymerch.com. And then at the top, you can just click become an ambassador and you make up your own discount code. And then you just, you know, promote that link and you get paid. It's another stream of income just in case we go back in quarantine. You know how to make money from home. But guys, without further ado, let's get right into this video. Thanks, you can be rapping. They know that I'm never lacking. You ain't never gotta ask me. I'ma do what I gotta do for the fam. I'ma make it happen. Was on the way out, but I'm back in. Need a new bank account with the cash in it. Hey. We are back. I'm a little hungry, man. What time is it? It's one o'clock. You hungry? That reminds me. If you're from the New Jersey area and you're hungry like I am right now, I want you guys to go check out Chef Simeus Instagram. All right, and leave a follow for me. If you, you know, if you feel a little hungry and you are in New Jersey, I repeat, if you are in New Jersey, let me rep in New Jersey, Jersey you feel and me? you want to move for some Caribbean food, stop by Chef Simeus Restaurant in Elizabeth, New Jersey. 17 Broad Street, Elizabeth, New Jersey, 07201. He does Seafood Wednesdays, Caribbean Thursdays from 4 p.m. to 12 a.m. If y'all want more information, just go check his Instagram out. And if you guys don't feel like going out to a restaurant and you want him to come to your house, to you know, your own personal chef, he does that too. His booking info, this is his booking info right here. He's a private chef at your service, okay? Private chef at your service. I've tried his food and it is thebomb.com if you guys are looking for a private chef you're looking for some caribbean food and stuff like that you feel me go check out chef simius i'm gonna have his instagram link down in the description below y'all go check him out right now but y'all enough of that let's start talking about the real reason why you clicked on this video so a lot of you guys brush your hair with the same brush for months right you guys know that you get dry skin dry scalp and everything and every time you brush your hair the dry scalp products and everything they jump up to the brush the bristles of the brush and they stack up they build up over time your brush looks a little dirty and disgusting all right i want you guys to know every time you use that brush dry skin and the products that's in that brush will go back onto your hair you didn't know that did you so that's why sometimes when you wash your hair you do a washing style your hair squeaky clean and then you put in a brush session and your hair seems to be flaking up but you just washed it no it's not coming from your hair it's coming from the brush so today i'm going to show you guys how to wash your brush properly yeah something that you need to do if you haven't been washing your brushes you need to do them okay all right so this brush right here is my washing style brush so it's always clean because you know i wash my hair with it so there's nothing wrong with it it's clean it's an all white two six king wavy medium brush and i just use it for my washing style now on the other hand this blue torino brush right here is freaking dirty and disgusting all right so this brush i'm going to use as an example for this video i'm going to wash this brush and show you guys the before and after and how to properly wash your brushes basically washing your brushes is just like washing your hair you have to first wet it put shampoo cut multiple times because the first time is rinsing out the dirt and the products and everything all the flakes and stuff it doesn't foam up the first time so you have to give it a couple of shampoo shots before it starts to foam up now once you apply the shampoo and you start to rub it okay you just see a lot of dirt products build up all that other stuff coming out and it's that means you're you're really actually washing your brush all right so with the second shampoo all right with the second wash you want to apply some more shampoo now when you apply a little bit more shampoo it's just starting to kind of foam up um, maybe not as much as you would like, but it's still if it doesn't foam up as much as you would like Maybe it's still a little bit of dirt in there. So you have to keep washing and rinsing that out now with the third wash I like to use soap a bar of soap because I feel like it foams up better when I use that So I use a bar of soap just to make it foam up um, To my liking because you guys know I like lather so 
And I use the uh, bar soap to get it to lather up the way I want it to, you feel me? And then after I do that, I just rinse it out again to get it as squeaky clean as I possibly can. Now sometimes, sometimes, sometimes after you finish uh, shampooing your brush or washing it, there might be a little bit, of, a little bit of hairs stuck in there, so you could use your comb to just take those little bits of hair out. I don't really care about the the hairs being left behind. I just want the the flake to get out of the brush and all the product buildup. That's what I really care about. But um, the hairs they don't really bother me. So, but for this video's sake, I'm gonna just take the comb and just comb the hairs out and just take all those loose hairs take them out now just to make sure the brush is clean I'm gonna go in with one more round of soap just to get some some more lather and make sure that everything is squeaky clean and after I do that of course I rinse it and this is the final product okay I think I'm gonna show you guys the before and after and see if I see a difference because I'm not sure All right, you guys, so this is how I wash my brush. This is how you should wash your brush. Maybe or you use a different method. I'm not sure. I wash my brushes once every two weeks because, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really get dirty as quick as your hair does. All right, but I just wash, wash my brush twice a month, once every two weeks. You feel me? Yeah, if you didn't know that you had to wash your brush, now you know, okay? Don't be dirty. Wash your brushes, all right? And also wash your do-rags. But yeah, that's all for this video. Hope you guys learned something new that you have to wash your brushes, okay? If you don't wash your brushes, all you're doing is putting all that dirt from the brush into your hair that you just washed. If you just did a washing style and, br and brushing your hair with a dirty brush, what was the point, all right? Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, comment. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to smash that subscribe button for your boy. And if you wonder what video to watch next, it's gonna be up here, okay? Click it, watch it, pay attention, take notes, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.